Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I have some incredible announcements this week including five new bare metal EC2 instance types, there is a new infrequent access storage class for Elastic File System, Amazon Guard Duty adds three new threat detections, AWS Fargate now supports Private Link and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me Faye Ellis. There are five new bare metal EC2 instance types now available, and bare metal means that the operating system runs directly on the server hardware without being virtualized. So we have M5 Metal, which is designed for general purpose, R5 Metal, which is designed for memory intensive workloads, and Z1, which is designed for high performance compute with super fast 4 gigahertz processors. So these instance types are great for applications which need to run in a non-virtualized environment for licensing or support reasons, and they are configured with an AWS custom Intel processor called Skylake. There is a new infrequent access storage class for Elastic File System. And if you haven't used Elastic File System before, it's a shared file system which can be accessed by thousands of EC2 instances in parallel. And this new storage class is a massive 85% less expensive than the regular EFS. So it is a really cost effective option for shared data, which is accessed infrequently. And you can create lifecycle rules to move any files that have not been accessed in the last 30 days to infrequently access storage. Amazon Guard Duty adds three new threat detections. And if you haven't used Guard Duty before, it's a threat detection service which uses artificial intelligence to recognize malicious or unauthorized behavior in your account. So these new threat detections will identify the misuse of popular penetration testing tools, Parrot and Pen2, which could be used by an attacker to find weaknesses in your environment. And Guard Duty can now also alert any time the root credentials of your AWS account are used, either programmatically or within the console. AWS Fargate now supports Private Link. And if you're not aware of Fargate, it's a service which allows you to run Docker containers without having to provision or manage any servers. And Private Link is the internal AWS network which allows you to privately connect to AWS services from within your VPC without sending traffic over the public internet. So this is going to be great for building really secure microservices based architectures and for use cases which need to be completely isolated from the internet. So on to Guru of the Week and the correct answers this week were A and B. And the person with the best answer is Tim Hessing. So Tim is a data architect at Nationwide Insurance in the US. So congratulations to Tim. There is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker and hand signed card on their way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.